I blocked a number of people in my life. <laughs> <clears throat> it's not a joke. <laughs> oh, no, 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 you cannot joke about that. It's just like uncomfortable. Mm. I'm so uncomfortable, but also it's like, this is good for me. So I guess I'm choosing to share that this week's hard thing was taking space, you know? And I thought it was gonna be on being alone and today's hard thing is being alone <laughs> and I think I'm still gonna finish that episode because being alone is also a hard thing but I, I really think it was taking space purposeful space from people who I don't think are bringing a positive energy I'm just not perceiving their attempts at affection in a positive way and so i'm choosing to take a step back and it's something that was like very difficult when you love someone <laughs> it's really hard and please excuse my smiles for discomfort. I'm uncomfortable. But I think it's important that, I think this topic is so important. Have you ever had to cut somebody out of your life, whether it be permanently or like for just a, a, a fraction of time? And I feel like in mental health, <laughs> going no contact is often a tool and a coping skill and a, you know, and a, it's, it's a lot. Mental health, huh, bestie? We can do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> so it's like, I, I cut. This is my process, accept it, or you will be <laughs> clipped. I've been cutting people out of my life pretty consistently for the past six months. I think I've really, on my mental health journey, I've really learned that I need to kind of sever some ties to make room for new relationships and new growth and, and new space, you know? And I, I often, I hate to let go. Like every single thing I've ever let go of has claw marks on it because it's like, it's very hard, change is hard for me. You know, with borderline personality disorder. Hi, I'm Borderline Belle. Welcome to my show. <laughs> Thanks for listening <laughs> this far. But like, obviously, maybe you've had to do this if you're still with me here. And, and I just want you to know that you're not alone. <laughs> right? Like, it hurts. I, I think I'm making this video a little bit because it, I do feel a little lonely. But I do have like such a wonderful support group in my family and the people who are still in my life. And I think things are always changing and moving and I'm, I'm learning to grow with them. Um, but it is like a puzzle. <laughs> it's like an ever changing, you know, and this is a coping skill, by the way, <laughs> to call that out. Mental health. And I'm not peddling this because I don't even know what the company is. It's just a good ADHD tool and I'm Borderline Belle. I have ADHD and anxiety and depression and seasonal depression and you how what else is there? I trauma, <laughs> PTSD. I have all of the things. Thank you. But I'm also like a high functioning human being. 
I'm a mother of two, you know, and I'm, I'm, Your service has been temporarily disconnected. I'm a woman who's learning to navigate as a solo unit, as a person, not just a mom, sister, friend, but like as a person. Mental health robbed me of a lot of years and I'm excited to be healthy again. That started with leaving some people and some situations and some things behind. I started doing the clips. Get cut out. You're clipped. Somebody tonight is going to get clipped. I was cutting people and it's been feeling good i'm not going to lie it's like i sometimes these relationships we hang on to them but like what are they really giving us you know it doesn't feel healthy and there's all these mixed emotions and it's sometimes it's best to just take some space and, and think about it and, and sometimes it's best to just leave it where it lays where, where it lies <laughs> let it lay down where it <laughs> lie down here <laughs> to give me space you know what I mean when I filmed that and so you know the topic was being alone not by choice <laughs> and it's a suffering when you feel like you've hurt the people around you when you feel like you've relapsed when you feel like you've you know acted out um, you know for people who are dealing with mental health issues on, a, on in a way that's diagnosed then you know oh my what was that? People who deal with mental health issues on a diagnosed level understand when I say relapse, and for people who may just be having a hard time, I would say, you know, when you do something to either make yourself feel better or to avoid a problem or you do something that negatively impacts the people around you to make yourself feel better, and it's like a relapse of calling things. It's like you do something to cope. struggling with being alone and it's a it's a hard thing to have to reflect and to look inside but it's always the best thing I feel like it's literally the best thing I think maybe like those moments when you're absolutely pushed against a wall and you're you know flailing are moments of growth and they're human you know because I think inherently humans are capable of change and so if you believe that fundamentally then you believe that even you can change and me or, or especially you i hope you believe in you because i believe in you and i'm learning to believe in myself and that's kind of something new i don't know i'm just starting that and it's like a journey it's healing or something like that so i'm i'm it's interesting to see how i had how I had pushed people away at that time, but I needed the time to reflect. And the things that I did or said, or those were things I needed to examine so that, are you okay? <laughs> so that I could like 
internally do some work. Yeah, self-growth means you have to do the work. You have to self-examine. You have to self-actualize and realize. And you have to, it's a lot of thinking. Let me tell you something about getting bitter. It's all about thinking all the time. It's like, I be going outside. I be going out. I be going outside and I just be standing here. How can I be better? How can what the hell kind of life would be to be a human? What the f and so, in conclusion, maybe sometimes being alone is good for you. <laughs> it's sometimes good for you to be alone. Sometimes it's good for everybody to say, "That's enough. Go take a seat, relax, and cool it." If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. McDonald's wants you to give yourself a chance. Because sometimes you can be worked up, you can be tired, you can be, I mean, I'm coming off of like a 35 hour, 22 hour, 67 hour shift. I worked from, I worked, it's Friday, I worked Thursday at 8 p.m until Friday at 4 p.m. And I'm tired. <laughs> so it's like, okay, what are they saying? Sometimes it's good for you to be alone. I think that's the moral of my story, is that I, looking back at that footage now, weeks later, I'm like, okay, I get it. Like that girl was, uh, that girl was going through something that girl was going through something and I can see that she needed some time to herself because she needed to think about it and I'm glad that she was given the opportunity to do that and she is me and I'm she <laughs> I'm glad that I took the time to think because that's a sad girl oh wait till you see the next episode <sighs> scandalous I mean I think I'm even sadder in the next one but <sighs> Self-reflection is so important and it's such an ugly part of recovery. Self-reflection, being alone, pushing people away. I think we all do these things sometimes in one way or another. And I'm not ashamed to say, I did that and that was me. Whatever. I claim her and I claim me. And I claim you, friend. I hope you're out there doing something positive. And uh, welcome to the show. This is the show and that's it. And <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to get up to some healthy healing. And I'm just going to get very candid with you about these lips can you excuse my dry lips like I'm <laughs> yeah I'm gonna get a little candid as we heal this is a safe space a chill space a welcome space for you to come and hang and hear somebody else's plate because like we're on a journey to get better even though it's ugly and I think I don't know ugly is relatable these days and that's what reality should be, real. So, welcome.